What is going on, you truckers, and welcome back to the Punkadillons channel. And with the spirit of what is happening out in the earth, we are at Walbert and we are picking up a bunch of TP known as toilet paper. We're hauling doubles, and we're going to be meeting up with Mr. Boom down in Flagstaff. The load is going to Los Angeles, California. So we got to do a speedy delivery. We got to get down there as soon as possible. Everybody's hoarding toilet paper as fast as they can. And the semi truckers cannot keep it staffed or keep it stocked. What I want you guys to do is down in the comments below is put some messages for some truck drivers and your thank you. Obviously, me being working at UPS, I work beside truckers every single day. So we're filling our trailers to the max. We are stuffing them tight so that there is no space waste. I think everybody at work is taking it seriously. Yeah, there's a couple people that are chickening out and saying they have the virus, which they don't. I hope UPS comes down on them and be like, if you don't test positive, <laughs> you're getting written up. I think that would be a fair um, punishment. And let's get back with Mr. Boom. What up, Mr. Boom? Eh, still muted. <laughs> there you are. I'm recording. <laughs> Just to let you know. Copy that. Alright, while he does his intro, I'm going to pull off and adjust my volumes a little bit. Be a great time. Audio. And I'm going to probably raise his voice in Discord. Yeah, I got to remember how to get out. Ah, shit. Did I do this wrong again? <laughs> nope, my game froze. No, I don't want to go into photo mode. Jesus. Oh, what did I do? It's not letting me do a freaking anything. There we go. Turn that bad boy up. Alright, now let's get back. Alright, so while he's doing his intro, we're going to be trucking down to Flagstaff and meeting up with him. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for all the views on the uh, lawn care video. 
with Mr. Boom's help, known as Buck the Rental Man, uh, we finished up those uh, thumbnails, made them look crisp. I still got my volume way too loud. <laughs> the truck is like blaring in my ear. <laughs> I was like, no thank you. <laughs> Music is off. Technically you could be hauling a load of logs and saying you're hauling raw toilet paper. Organic. Yeah, that's true, the, the start of toilet paper. Organic toilet paper, five bucks to the, five bucks to the leaf. That's how you make it in satisfactory, by leaves. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to get in on those mods, I think they just go with the survival. Hmm. Might have to look into that. Wait a second, I'm gonna introduce you, I'm gonna call you on the walkie, I'll see what you do. Hey Ben, you out there? What's going on, Mr. Boom? Not much, how about yourself? I'm just trucking down 89 off the Flagstaff. Alright, I'm just now uh, leaving Flagstaff. I'll be riding in the giant Walmart rig. It's kind of fun. Uh, what are you hauling today? Because I know that you were telling me earlier this morning when you were over in Page that uh, you were doing uh, something up in Page. I think you're going to LA, but what are you hauling? Uh, a bunch of toilet paper from Wahlberg. Hauling, hauling doubles. Two ply? Yep. Three. Two. Oh. Okay, but at least you're getting at least the decent stuff. I have a three oh, trailer, but it's sitting at my garage. <laughs> oh, jeez. I would be doing a little bit more of a heavy haul today, but eh, I wanted to bring out the Walbert truck. I haven't used it in a while. So where, um, I'm assuming, yeah, you're on the highway, but... I have to see where on earth. Oh, that's the wrong one. I have to see where we could possibly even meet up if we did, because I'm kind of just leaving that west uh, west side of Flagstaff. Uh, I'm steaming down 89, so I'm probably. Oh, let's see here. It's been so long since I know the controls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just coming into Grand Canyon, so... Alright. Uh, I mean, you want me to kind of... I think I'm just getting on to... What, 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 what highway? I'm, get, I'm just getting on Interstate 40 right now, so... You kind of want me to uh, pull off and wait for you? Probably be the best, because I'm hauling the uh, extended contract, so I'm limited on speed. Alright. Uh, I'm hauling freight right now, so I can technically go as fast as I want, but hauling dry milk, that's going to be one messy mess when it spills. Slash falls off the trailer because I roll it. With you driving, probably will. I mean, hey, I got a wheel, so at least I might be able to do a little bit of something. I need to get a wheel. Oh, that sucks. Keyboard well, is my friend. There's one, in, there's one road in California that has actually the speed limit of 75. Oh, sweet. Probably because of the terrain. Probably. I'm just going to pull off here onto the side and I'll just kind of wait for you. Oh yeah, I'll truck as hard as I can. Alright, uh, obviously don't all this be in it. Oh, I'm pretty good at coasting. Let's put it that way. Oh shit, it's a roundabout. Eee, hit the brakes. <laughs> Slam, there goes all the toilet paper. <laughs> They didn't warn me that a roundabout was coming. But at least it's better than a stoplight. I guess while I'm trucking here, if you guys know Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin, oh, that entire town is full of roundabouts. Really fun to hit. And actually, that is, what is it? Yeah, the Upper Mississippi River map, basically. They didn't rename the, the city, but that's the Wisconsin side of that map. Alright, I'm 
I'm just sitting here waiting when you are. About maybe a mile down the road from the off ramp. Sweet, I'm about halfway until Flagstaff. Alright. I was just telling them that in Pritishin, Wisconsin, it is nothing but roundabouts through that town. Oh, jeez. Yeah. It's nice, you know, for us because we're traveling straight through. So we don't have to stop at a light. Uh huh. And I just saw a guy drive like a bat out of hell. Woo! That was bad. He's going like 95 with a low boy on there. The you day. said you're going towards 40? I'm on 40 right now, uh, head facing west. Copy that. I'm actually going to be getting on to 40, so this is going to work perfect. Yep, so I need to stick to the left and head off to 40. Good thing is I filled up before we, uh... The last time I got off, so we didn't have to fill up with diesel. Probably through this midlight crisis, I bet the diesel prices are up. And while you guys are uh, stuck at home, definitely make sure to check out everybody's YouTube channel out there in the YouTube world. Plenty of content from, oh, I can just name off some, you know, Long Hair Nut, uh, let's see, Cletus, Street Speed. There's plenty of content for you guys to go watch, so definitely check them out. You know, it'd be interesting to see how many hours of video footage there's actually on YouTube. That would be interesting. God, these damn red lights. Come on, Flagstaff, put some roundabouts in. So I can dump one of my trailers off. And if you guys are interested, still watching the video at this point, I think in about maybe in a, a week or two, maybe within, we do a big ass convoy. Since everybody is home and has literally nothing to do, so probably be on the US uh, server and we'll figure it out. So pretty much have all the DLCs, which pretty sure everybody does if you've been playing the game. Mr. Boom, you got a copy? That is a positive on that one, uh, Smokey. Copy that. I'm getting onto the on ramp of 40. Alright. I'll start kind of getting everything set up here. I don't see you on the map, but of course you're not going to. Nah. I don't think. Yeah, we didn't friend each other. Mm -mm. Well, wow. I'm just getting on. I'm, I'm all about five mile and a half down the road. You got a guy yeah, come speeding I through, so... Oh, I know, I heard you. I, heard, I saw him on the little thingy. Oh, yeah, there you are. Mr. Boom. Oh, for hire? <laughs> mm -hmm. I just keep it like that, because I don't really... I don't play enough to be in a trucking company anymore. I'm in Low Boys Trucking Team. I'm getting on now. I see you. Oh boy. Oh, you're a Volvo guy. Yep. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I love Volvos. Fucking amazing. You know what Volvos are, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what the joke really is. Next computer builds. Hmm. Is that almost like Chevy's? 
Like it's not the primary, you know, the premier lineup. Ah, you guys, I don't know. That's just jokes that they are really good trucks. It's just that because they're foreign, that they are famous calling something different. I don't know. That's but the Volvos, they're automatics, right? Uh, a lot of those, I think, are yeah. Yes. A lot of new ones, a lot of newer brand semis are just becoming more automatics. That sucks. Because mm -hmm. the 18, you know, when you have the manual, you can select a gear, which mm -hmm. works for the terrain. Even though this has a 7-speed automatic, even though this has a 7-speed in it, I still have it as a manual. Gearing's not too good when you're going up a hill, though, with the heavy loads, because you can't, even when you drop into first, it's like it's either you go 1 mile per hour or you try and budge to go for 14. It's just the gearing's not good on these, but I don't want to put... $22,000 transmission in this thing and making an 18 speed and all I'm hauling with Wahlberg stuff. Going 65. So if you get faster yeah. than me, you can pass. I'm, gonna, I'm about 66, 61. Should let me go higher, but it says 75. Hmm. Man. I think it's just a standard. Look at that, Speedy McDougal up there is, uh... Slowing down. Up. He's going, like, 10 miles per hour. Right. Pick up the pace, bud. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? It's fudge. Sickles. I didn't say it. <laughs> I said fudge. I want some fudge. Yeah. Some strawberries and fudge, you know. Just. Um, um, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I don't know. What, what, what's my speed at right now? I don't know. Okay, there we go. I was like, I can't tell what my speed's at. Yeah, keep right there, it's good. I don't know why he was going so slow. He has no load. Mm hmm Italian intensifies. Now the elevation's going up. Oh yeah. Great highways. Oh. <laughs> we dropped a thousand. <laughs> That was funny. Oof. This thing gets terrible fuel mileage. Uh, I was at half tank when I was. How it goes up? Don't, don't. I'm just gonna pretend that we don't hear him. Yeah, that's it. I couldn't even understand him. Mm -hmm. I'm just ignoring the radio anytime that pops on it. I cut it out or kind of like that Mexican Peterbilt joke. I'm cutting that out. Cause this doesn't save. Yeah. I'm just gonna drop it at sixth. Seventh is just too high of a gear. It bogs out. This is not like I'm going I can't max out the speed anyway in this thing. That's a weird trailer to go all in toilet paper in. I know. <laughs> it's a curtain trailer. Maybe you are hauling logs. No, it's, uh, I think, actually, it is home accessories. Hmm. But we're just going to say it's toilet paper. <laughs> it's home accessories. <laughs> hey, mine says I'm hauling dry milk, but if I'm hauling dry milk, why do I need it in a reefer? That's my question. I don't know. That's weird. Maybe they have some standards. Possibly. Probably. Maybe because they think it's out on the open road, they don't know what they're going to encounter as of heat, you know, temperature. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to get um, off at this exit, apparently. Mine says I got to keep going straight. Uh, I'm going to keep going I'm straight. I'm actually going to, I am uh, okay, well, I got to go fill up the fuel, so I'm going to go. Oh, okay. If you want to wait a little bit, you can, I'm just going to go out. Uh, Let's go fill up the diesel quick. 
Yep, I already filled up before I got off last. They gotta spend all day cooped up in that little box. I figured they needed something to look at. Yeah, that's right. Maybe a nice conversation with somebody. Yep, I didn't want them to feel all left out. <laughs> When we're coming by, we're going to start looking at somebody, something else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's coming behind me. That's coming behind me. That's what I like. Eh, You're still sitting there? Yep. I missed the freaking engines because one guy pulled up right next to me. Like he's just sitting there. Dude, like, mm -hmm. It's that one guy that was behind us. I thought he was going to rear end me at first because he was going in literally at like 40 miles an hour. And then another guy is just, it was just a nuts. No. And then, then I couldn't get over so I had to go around the block. Hmm. Holy hell, this is a shit show. <laughs> you coming up? Yeah, I'll be out there and maybe... Uh, yep, there goes actually, a car. Keep going, keep going to the next exit. I'll meet you at that exit. It's like, just keep going straight. Oh, yeah, I've straight. been pulled off the side. Are you back on the interstate? Oh, and he mutes. <laughs> yeah, somebody's got an Amazon trailer. Or no, that's not an Amazon, that's a... Uh... 
chip van. Oh, let's see, where's that big boat guy going? It's my What are you doing? I'm trying to get on the freaking highway. I'm hitting every freaking red light possible. <laughs> I'm at the next exit. Marcos, I guess you must be late because I'm going to be in the school atrás. Where did that guy actually go? Because he is still on my radio. He's just sitting in town. I think he's behind me, so I'll literally just get going. I'll catch up. Uh, yeah. You can probably catch me in like five minutes. Mm -hmm. I got the. I'm on the on ramp, like getting on the highway now, so. Yep, I'll take off. So I had the idea, since everybody is home that would normally play this game, we should try to create a big convoy. Mm -hmm. Not on my radio anymore. It's only on yours. I'm trying to find out how to switch my radio on the little thingy so I'm not on 19 anymore. Oh, I, I used to remember. Even when you set the default channel in your setting things, it doesn't change. There's some button that you have to push on your keyboard that toggles it. I'm like, which fucking button is that? I don't want to be on that. I don't want to be on that one. Actually, hang on. I want to see quick if it's... Is it this? I honestly cannot remember. Oh, don't you... F oh, my God. Bye. Press tab, left click, and turn off the radio with the mouse button. Nice. <laughs> I think That's they must have changed it because it used to be buttons. Mm -hmm. But now they've done it kind of almost like IC controls. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. That's helpful. But we're trucking away from him, so I'll just keep the radio on. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Awesome. Told you. Right. Yep. Second. I keep the radio on just in case if there's like a maniac or something. Oh man, so we got 270 miles to go. How are those diesel prices? Dylan, you got a copy over there? Yes, got a copy. Alright. Finally back on your tail once again. Took long enough. Yeah. Traffic's dumb these days. How was those diesel prices? That wasn't too bad. I mean, it was still a hefty chunk because, oh my god, my shifter just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> you can't shift any more people. It's on the ground. Oh god. Okay. I'm going to speed right, away. Yeah, okay. <laughs> shifter, shifter malfunction. I'm, uh... Okay, we're going to put that back at 6. That was riding in neutral, but it didn't say I shifted to neutral. Oh, great. Okay, now we got some real scary stuff going on here. Hi, Caramba. Of course, we are getting into California, so prices will go up. Oh, yeah. I thought we were in, Arizona. I thought we were in California going to Arizona for a second. Nope, we're good. I think it oh, said we on. just got in to California. Huh. Did it? I think it said welcome to California around the side. There's a smaller sign uh, back there. I don't know. That's it. My GPS still says we have about 130 miles to go, though. Well, at least mine is, because I'm because I'm going to Barstow. though. You probably got like 190 something, don't you? 244. Oh jeez. It's kind of just relaxing to be able to just truck. Oh jeez, if I can keep my eyes on the road here. All we just gotta hope for is no. Uh, server lag to the point where I rear end you. Yeah, server. Keep your distance, folks. Server's been doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. 
You're about... What is the... About 70 MS. I'm 40. Hmm. I always run pretty low. Even in farm sim. Hmm. Ooh. Drink, drive, lose. Well, I'm losing speed right now. I need to give them more powerful transmission, bud. Nah, it's just oh, this boy. extended contract. Because I set the cruise to 65. Uh. This truck only runs about 4 miles to the gallon. I already dropped probably 2% on my fuel tank. I have the fuel gauge on my dash. That's stupid. So I can't get a cool shot here. Sucks that you can't take screenshots on the road. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Fucking, freaking. Yeah, weights. Wait a minute. <laughs> they want me to pull in the way station for toilet paper. God damn, people. Yes, I'm... I gotta go in too, so. Yeah. After that, though, I'm gonna do some just kind of like different panoramic shots of just driving around, kind of like a time lapse almost. Yeah. Gear it down. It's, it, it's okay, officer. It's just toilet paper. 81,000 pounds of toilet paper, don't you say? <laughs> nice. Sorry, I haul in bulk. <laughs> Should we have home three-ply? Maybe tree-ply? Yeah. Hey, when people need their toilet paper, they call me. Sure they do. You're lucky I don't have my triples with me. I'll be hauling the whole world supply in my truck. Now I'm down to 196. Come in there, Mr. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thought I left you There's in the dust. Well, Thought I left you in the dust. The <laughs> road's a little rough. Nope. So, uh, kind of had some trouble there getting the shifting down. Grinding those gears. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I'm, now I'm catching you. Oh, God. He's going to ram me. Thank God he's not in a Dodge Ram. <laughs> Dropping drop training since 1994. Yep. Just just blowing them out the back door. Fine, I guess I'll stick to 65. I know. You're doing your contracts. Yeah, I got a lot of government contracts that I have to do. Mm. That's how I pay for this Volvo. That It's not like I have an entire fleet, too, behind me. <laughs> I have you don't have a couple, like, how many trucks do you have? Oh, God, it's... I'll have to look, but it's a lot. Because <laughs> I also played on single player, so I had the entire map open. Oh, um, yeah. So I was, like, in Canada with a couple shops, and I've been down to Florida, Iowa. I actually stayed at I-80 Truck Stop for a night. I was like, damn, I was only 15 minutes away from my house. We actually go there sometimes just to have dinner. 
I'm slowing down for the corner because I don't trust the slowed. And then I think from UPS, it's probably like five minutes down the road. Uh. Yeah, you want to slow down. I just lost my transmission. Again. You sure you got a Allison transmission oh. in that? <laughs> I was in high range with seven. Because I only have seven gears. I'm used to running 18. I'm good. <laughs> I forgot I was in high. <laughs> Alright, folks, we're not idiots. It's like literally putting it in second, third, fourth, trying to get this thing to shift, and it would not shift. I'm like, oh no! Oh, yeah, you got your exit coming up. Yep. What are they barking about? Dogs are going nuts. Alright, I'm gonna drop this load off here, bud, and then I'll uh, catch once if I can't catch something to LA quick. Sweet. Oh shit, not watching what I'm doing. Oh, freaking GPS again. I hate when it does that. Takes me onto an off ramp and then takes me up. Oh, that's good because the guy was in the middle of the freaking road. At a diagonal, I would have plowed right into him. Ooh. That would have been bad. Well, I guess you could say the GPS saved my life for once. And then the guy that was blocking the road is literally coming up in my butt. Jesus. I would yell at him, but I'm recording, so. <laughs> it's a good thing that the GPS took me off the interstate to bypass him. He would have just screwed up a bunch of supply of toilet paper. And there'd be some unhappy customers. Alright, I'm back. I just got the load uh, from Eddie's head in LA. So I'll be on there in just a minute. I got 57 miles. Okay. Dude, the GPS saved my life. Get it now. So, you know how it takes you off sometimes for no reason? Yeah. So, it did mm -hmm. that, 
And I was like, okay, why did it take me off for no reason? I looked back, you had a truck that was sideways underneath the bridge. Yeah? I was like, whew, they thought I actually paid attention to the GPS. Yeah. Oh, because you thought you were going to hit somebody? Yeah, because I looked back and I was like, okay, oh, yep, there's a guy sitting in the middle of the road. And then, like, two seconds... Oh, he was in the middle of the road. Yeah, there was somebody in the middle of the road, underneath the bridge. Oh, oh underneath it, okay. Yeah, so the GPS was already taking me around it. I was like, thank God. Because he would have just messed up a Walmart supply of toilet paper. <laughs> and it would be some very unhappy customers. <laughs> I don't know why I had my lights on. And then he just came up behind me, and I was like, oh, I should yell at him. No, I'm recording. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Yeah, it says I got 119, so I'll be about halfway. I'm like double your uh, I'm over W. Actually, you would be proud of me today. I was on Facebook, and uh, normally I help people oh, that, are, that are getting attacked and stuff. And, you know, uh -huh. Adam of Web Metal Farms was getting attacked. Somebody was like, oh, yeah, I built this uh, mod, and it was literally his that he just put on his Patreon. And I was like, yeah, buddy, that, that's your problem, not mine. Who? Adam from Web uh -huh. Metal Farms. Somebody was trying to say that his two salters were junk, but it was just because of the size of them, which that's uh -huh. why you put it on a Patreon so that can get people's feedback and the guy was being a jerk so i was like yeah that's your problem not mine and i just walked away from it <laughs> i i wanted to say something but i'm like nope trying to get my reputation back up good Maybe we shouldn't be going 60 miles an hour through town. <laughs> oh, I got an external contract, so I'm stuck at 65, too. Yeah, I'm speeding through town. Gosh, no bueno, man. No bueno. Yep. Oh, that's why my stupid fuel mileage is so short. I only got a 300 gallon tank. You can get like a 400. Stupid. Hell. What in the deuce? Alright, we're just coming around the corner. Looks like we'll be delivering to our store. Which I don't know what this store really resembles in real life. Is that, I think it's like an electronic store. Of course, it is home appliances, so it probably is. And basically, this is my hometown. This is a, where I first started. I know this road very well. <laughs> and I think after dropping this load off, we're going to head over to the service department. Is it sad that going around the corner, I turned on my turn signal for no random reason? <laughs> Staying in the same lane, but just because I was turning right on the corner, I thought I hadn't put on the signal. <laughs> <laughs> like, you change lanes or anything, I just turned it on like, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. It's almost like oh you're God. just letting people know you're going to be doing something. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm turning, but I'm not doing anything with it. Probably be a smart idea to throw it in seven, so I'm like wasting the least amount of fuel. <laughs> still running at, it's still running at 1700 RPM. Let's run it. Now we're pulling into actually, yeah, this is a Best Buy, basically, because it looks like a Best Buy. <laughs> and with doubles, you really can't do anything. You're just gonna pull through into the spot. Triples, same way. Yep, Got to back up.
Fuel consumed 132 gallons. Time taking 48 minutes. And it was about almost 600 miles. Not bad. And with that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was a really fun video. If you guys want to get on the convoy, uh, pay attention to the Discord like we did last time. That's where we met uh, Fatboy. Very nice person. Not talkative, but very nice. So, if you would like to join the crew, um, that's, a, that's actually kind of a way to get into my Discord, really. Is to show up on these convoys and then... You know, if I like you as a friend, or, you know, you're really nice, and you're not like the other people in this community, you're different, you'll be accepted in. So with that, have a great day, guys. Make sure not to hoard uh, materials like toilet paper and stuff. Be conservative. This is a very rough time that the country is going through. So with that, make sure you stock up on cleaning supplies. That is what you should hoard because you will go through a lot of cleaning supplies over the next two months. Keep your social distance. Uh, let's actually take this for heart. Do our part so that this doesn't become a regular virus like the flu and influenza. I think that is what the government is trying to do. So let's make the push right now and then it's all over. So hopefully they stiffen up the borders. I think that's what needs to happen because we're... I'm not blaming China 100%, but like China, we get a lot of diseases from them. People coming from outside the country. With that, have a great day. We'll see you guys in the next video.